Hi everyone, today I'm going to discuss what are Chebyshev polynomials, why we need them, and how to use them to interpolate functions in MATLAB. This is the general form of Chebyshev polynomials of the first kind. If I use trigonometric relations to simplify this formula for the first values of n, you can see that all of the phrases have a polynomial form for cosine of theta. So I replace cosine of theta with x and replace theta with inverse cosine of x. And this is the general form of Chebyshev polynomials of the first kind. Using trigonometric relations, it can be shown that these polynomials satisfy this recursive relation. Now I'm going to produce these polynomials in MATLAB in three separate ways. First, using the recursive relation. I call the function Chebyshev1. It receives n and returns tn. If n is equal to 0, t equals to 1. Else if n equals to 1, t equals to x. Else, this is the recursion relation. t equals to 2 times x times Chebyshev 1 of n minus 1 minus Chebyshev 1 of n minus 2. And let's check the first 6 Chebyshev polynomials. I see two issues here. All of the results are symbolic other than this one, which is a number. I convert it to a symbolic number. And generally, we want our results in their expanded form, so I expand the expressions. The second way of finding Chebyshev polynomials is through the general definition, cosine of n times inverse cosine of x. These are simply the Chebyshev polynomials and you can see their expanded form here. The third and best way is through MATLAB built-in Chebyshev t function. Its input arguments are n and x. If you want the general form, define x as a symbolic variable. Just to compare these three methods to see how fast they are, I run them for the first 10 polynomials, and here are the results. Another thing we can do is plot the first 5 Chebyshev polynomials. Using Chebyshev polynomials to interpolate functions. Consider we have a function f and we want to interpolate it in this interval with a polynomial of order n. To do that, we need n plus 1 points. We do that by defining Chebyshev points. These points are defined as the zeros of the Chebyshev polynomial Tn defined on the interval minus 1 and 1. The zeros of Chebyshev polynomials have a general form. They are called Chebyshev nodes or Chebyshev abscesses. And you can see their distribution for n equal to 10. They are the cosine components of linearly distributed points around the circle. So to summarize, Imagine you want to fit a polynomial of order n to a function from minus 1 to 1. The polynomial is of order n, so it has n plus 1 unknown coefficients, so we need n plus 1 points. I choose these points as the zeros of Chebyshev polynomial n plus 1. So they are like this. Now using these points, we can fit the polynomial easily. Now we want to write a code to find the polynomial fit of a function. I name it Chebby polyfit. f is our function handle and n is the order of the polynomial fit. This is the general form of Chebyshev nodes. Be careful that since we want a polynomial fit of order n, we need n plus 1 nodes. So we implement t n plus 1. I also need the corresponding y coordinates of Chebyshev nodes of the function and I fit a polynomial of order n using polyfit. I return the polynomial as the output argument. I also plot both the original function and the fitted polynomial. Let's check it a few times. It works perfectly. Now it's time to answer why we need Chebyshev nodes. We could have easily chosen linearly spaced nodes and used them to fit our polynomial. Let's deal with it. 
I create a new function named linear polyfit. The only difference here is in the x coordinates of our points, instead of Chebyshev nodes, they are linearly spaced nodes. In a new script, I call my linear polyfit function to interpolate this function for n equal to 5. It is doing not bad, but I want a better interpolation, so I increase the degree of polynomial to 10. I'm not sure it is doing better. Let me increase n. It is certainly doing a good job in the middle, but on the sides it is just getting worse. And as soon as n reaches 25, MATLAB shows me a warning. It says the polynomial is badly conditioned. Didn't we expect a better interpolation for higher degree polynomials? I execute the same steps for Chebby polyfit. It is getting better and better, and for n equal to 25, I can say it is already a perfect interpolation. These oscillations and non-convergence that happen for linearly spaced nodes is called the Runge phenomenon. In general, if f of x and f prime of x are continuous on the interval minus 1 and 1, then it can be proved that Chebyshev nodes will lead to polynomials that converge to f of x over this interval. Now let's extend our Chebby polyfit function to a general case in which the interval is not bounded to minus 1 and 1. So I take the general interval to be a and b. First, if the color supplies two input arguments, then automatically a and b are set to minus 1 and 1. Now the Chebyshev nodes must be scaled and translated to a new interval. This is the transforming formula. So our previous nodes must be multiplied by this value and translated by this one. I check it to make sure it works alright. And it's perfect. Don't worry about this warning. The last thing I want to mention is Chebyshev approximation. You can approximate function f over minus 1 and 1 using Chebyshev polynomials. In other words, the interpolated polynomial that we discussed can be written as the sum of Chebyshev polynomials. To find these unknown coefficients, I use the orthogonality property. Remember that generally, Chebyshev polynomials have this trigonometric form and the following orthogonality properties apply to them. You can find the proof for Chebyshev polynomials orthogonality in mathematical textbooks. The coefficients cj are computed using the following formulas. So I write the general code for cj, but I keep in mind that the first coefficient must be divided in half. I name my function Chebyshev approximation and I calculate Chebyshev nodes. Again, the user is asking for a polynomial of order n, so we have n plus 1 unknown coefficients, which I initialize here. This part is a constant that I am going to multiply later. I want this summation. I call this part temp. xk holds Chebyshev nodes, which I have calculated previously. Now I write a for loop to calculate each coefficient cj. And this summation is going to be performed for every Chebyshev node. So I can write it for k equal to 1 until n plus 1. Temp of k equals to y of k times Chebyshev t, for jth polynomial in the Chebyshev node xk. And now c of j plus 1 equals to 2 divided by n plus 1 times sum of temp. And why did I write j plus 1? Because iteration variable goes from 0 to n, but the indexing for this vector starts from 1 up until n plus 1. I also don't forget to divide the first coefficient in half. We can plot the interpolated function to make sure it works alright.